what's up everybody? How's it going? It's your boy Dude Long Couch here, and we're here for part two of Batmania. It's my let's play of Batman Arkham City. Holy shit, guys. Alright. So this is where shit kind of gets real. Arkham Asylum, Arkham Asylum is great. I love it. It's where everything started. But Arkham City is where everything gets really, truly awesome. Everything about this game is new and improved. We've got the glide mechanics, we've got the free roaming open city, we've got new and improved combat, new and improved predator techniques. Everything is just kicked to the next level. I'm so excited to start this. I can't even wait. Let's just get started right now. Thank you so much for watching, and let's do this. Story not started, 0%. Alright, what do we got here? Let's take a look at these options real quick. We've got a lot of stuff that's not unlocked yet. We can view 3D character models, we can adjust game settings, I already did all that. Start a new mission, that's the DLC, Harley Quinn's Revenge, we're not ready for that yet. Actually, one thing I might have forgotten to do, let's see if uh, subtitles are turned on. Yep, they are on, excellent. Alright, we're good. Let's back up out of here, and none of this other stuff is even unlocked yet, that's fine. Here's the campaign maps, we won't have any of those yet, so let's just start a new game. Difficulty normal, subtitles, oh, we could have done that here. Hints, uh, that's the default setting, I don't think we'll really need them, but we'll leave it on, because who knows. to the boss gets here. He'll be here. Riley said he saw the bat. Is he here too? In Arkham City? Why would he come here? You guys just need to chill the hell out. It's Batman! What the hell? Sorry to disappoint you boys. It's just little old me. Oh snap, we're playing as Catwoman. Surprise, surprise. So this is kind of an interesting way to start this game out. Not playing as Batman, but it works. Catwoman plays very similar to Batman. There are a few key differences. She's a lot faster. Um, <clears throat> she's got different gadgets. A lot of her stuff is the same, like her techniques and moves. Um, she has a couple of other differences in Predator mode too. Nothing to really talk about just yet because none of it applies. But we'll start off with a full 22 hit combo. Taken care of. It's time to get what I came for out of that safe. And now Catwoman wants to look at the safe. Let's take a look around this uh, room real quick first. We can vote for Harvey Dent. I believe in Harvey Dent. I don't know about you guys. And there's actually not much else to look at around here. February 15th. I don't know what that signifies. All right, that's enough of that. Let's take a look. Try and get one over on me, will you, Harv? I don't think so. Get your filthy paws off that now. Ah! Oh, snap. Wake up, Mr. Wade. We have much to discuss. Strange? You won't get away with this. I already have. This is Vicki Vale reporting live from Arkham City, the controversial super prison built right here in the heart of Gotham. In a few moments, Bruce Wayne will be live on stage to explain his sudden interest in Gotham politics. The infamous Playboy millionaire has never been one it's to- billionaire, Vicki. Millionaires are so last year. I assume that you thought yourself untouchable. Well, as you can see, no one is untouchable. Thank you! Thank you, Gotham! Imprisoned behind these walls, 
gang leaders are fighting a bloody war in the middle of our once great city. Every inmate from Arkham Asylum and Blackgate Prison has been relocated to this facility. How can this be safe for the people of Gotham? Shut Arkham City down. It's out of control. Shut it down. By the end of tonight, I will be a hero. Just like you, Batman. Today, I'm starting the campaign to close Arkham City and make Gotham safe again. Remember, Wayne is the priority target. Surround him! Hands in the air, Wayne. We have Wayne. Target secure. That was kind of cheap. Come on. I feel I should thank you. Capturing Bruce Wayne is so much easier than Batman. And now that we have you, Protocol 10 is ready to begin. It will be my legacy, a monument to your failure. And if you try to stop me, I guarantee everyone will know your secret. Yikes. Until this point, you have shown total disregard for the law, for society. And what the hell are you doing? You think we wouldn't hear you? No, nah, I just didn't care. Because I can do stuff like that. Bitch! Oh! Oh! What are you waiting for, Wayne? Line A, move! Yes, sir, yes, sir, understood. Line A, got it. Just kidding, I'm just pretending to listen to what he says. Line A! Wait! You're in line A! Move it! I hear penguins put a price on your head. I'm cashing you in. You work for the penguin? I did. What's it to you? I hate the penguins. Help me! Feels like we're in a concentration camp here. This is crazy. Get your ass up here. Bruce Wayne, you're on my list. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> Move up, prisoner. I'm pretty sure that's Floyd Lawton, aka Deadshot. Oh, come on. Mr. Wayne will not be any trouble. Will you? Mr. Wayne, the cuffs can stay on. We don't want to make things too easy, do we? Close the doors. These dudes keep pistol whipping me. I can't believe it's not very died. friendly. Bruce Wayne? Great. There I was reporting on your crummy press conference, and now here we both are. I guess that'll teach you to get involved in politics, won't it? Listen to me carefully. When they open the door, do not panic. Stay close to me. Do you think I'm taking advice from some guy who's never even been in a fight? Stay calm. They're trying to scare us. Sorry, man. It's every man for himself. That's Jack Ryder, a.k.a. The Creeper. He's kind of a... not really a villain. More of an anti-hero, I guess you would say. Oh, man. I couldn't see the attacks coming. So this is kind of fun, getting to play as, like, actual Bruce Wayne, and, uh, beating up these guys while handcuffed. Can I do a ground pound? No, I can't. Alright, just stop being alive. I'm sick of that. Hey, look, it's Wayne Tower. On your That's where Ryder. I work. Jack Ryder will be torn apart if I leave him there. Alright, I guess we should help him. I said get up. Uh oh. Oh. Wasn't anything I could do about that. Oh, Jesus. 
I'm like five minutes in, Bruce Wayne is getting his ass Night whooped. Night. Oh. Fucking penguin. Always acting big. Wakey, wakey, Wayne. Oh, what's up? Do you need me to call your butler? Cobblepot. Oh, you remember me. I'm touched. Your family destroyed mine, Wayne. This, well, let's just call this good old-fashioned revenge. Countered. Penguin is such a wanker in every game he's in. Every story he's in. Oh, that was close. Oh, shackles broken. You can't stop me, bitches. All right. <clears throat> Got a little bit more movement now. A couple more uh, different strikes we can do. It's all gonna work out the same, though. These guys can't touch me. Easy peasy. Anyone else? I need to get to higher ground and contact Alfred. Okay, so our new objective, climb to higher ground and contact Alfred. Oh, wait, hold on a second. <laughs> Dickhead. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. These guys are done. Let's see. <clears throat> Ace Chemicals. That has a lot of significance. Alfred, have you got my location? Only just, sir. There's more interference than usual. I need an immediate drop on the roof of the Ace Chemicals building. I'm on my way there now. Of course. Some of you may know this building as the place where the Joker was created. I watched your incarceration on the evening news. Was getting yourself arrested a part of your plan all along? Not exactly. Although I did get some one-on-one -on -one time with Hugo Strange. And how was that? Not good. He knows that Bruce Wayne is Batman. He also told me that something called Protocol 10 will make him famous. I can't leave Arkham City until I find out what it is. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Don't worry, bro. Did it arrive, sir? Right on time. Oh, man. I wish I could call in my bat plane whenever I wanted. That would be useful. Alright, time to suit up. Yeah, motherfuckers, it's Batman time. Alfred, I took an encryption key from a tiger gun. I'm going to hack into their communications. All right, so we've already got a lot of the stuff that we had to unlock in the last game, including the uh, cryptographic sequencer, which is a little different this time around. You can move this around, decode different stuff, listen to radio stations. It's cool, it's not really stuff you need to hear though. So let's move over here and decrypt this signal. All units, this is Air Tiger 4. We have confirmation that prisoner 4011 is in the courthouse. I repeat, that woman is in the courthouse. Is she in danger? Affirmative. Target is being held by Dent. We believe he intends to kill her. How should we proceed? <laughs> Stand down. Let Two-Face have his fun. Understood. That doesn't sound good. No, it does not. Mr. Dent's predilection for all things binary may not bode well for Miss Kyle. If there's one person in Arkham City who knows what's really going on, it's her. I need to find Catwoman now. All right. Save Catwoman from Two-Face. So there is a lot going on in this game. Um, the open world has just kind of opened up, and we have free movement around the place, but we need to go to the courthouse and save Catwoman. Now, we can glide around like this 
it's pretty awesome really quick easy way to get around and you can grapple from here come up to different perches Already I see an unlockable, or not an unlockable, but uh, a collectible I should say. If you see those tiger security cameras around, hit them with a batarang and you'll get easy upgrade points for it. So those uh, tiger electronic communications are going to be coming across all game long, they're never going to stop. So I'm generally just going to talk over them, because if I didn't I'd never really get the chance to say anything. So, obviously we got a lot of dudes to beat up down there. And let's see, as far as gadgets, we've got Batarang, Remote Control Batarang, Bat Claw, and Explosive Gel. Which is a good, decent number of starting weapons, so... Let's go down and, uh, get into a fight. Look out! It's the we'll start out with a flying, uh, kick kind of thing. Glide kick, that's the word I was trying to think of. And look at this, look at how many fucking enemies are here. This is already, like, a way larger fight than anything we had in the first half of Arkham Asylum. So you kind of know coming in that this game is, uh, <laughs> not screwing around. Now here's the cool thing. Um, there's a lot more, uh, usage of the gadgets in the free flow combat this time around. You have uh, quick use buttons, like that right there. I actually put down the explosive gel, and then I can detonate it whenever I want. And you can take out guys that way. The bat claw is way easier to use, and if you actually have time to do it, you will uh, pull guys towards you and do like a arm clothesline takedown thing that looks really sweet. I didn't really have a chance to pull off the whole thing there. But anyway, that's it for those guys. Let's head into the courthouse. Solomon Wayne Courthouse. This game is somehow even more dense with stuff to collect than the last game was. Like riddles and things to destroy and stuff like that. Alright, they think I'm a thug trying to get in and see what's going on. I was just trying to go in and beat you all up. Guessing this door's locked too. Yep. Too slow, idiot. Who are you calling an idiot? You're the idiot. You just wait till I get in there. I'm fucking Batman, son. I don't give a shit. I will murder everybody. Well, not murder. The only way to get by in this place is to get ourselves some respect. Be here. That's how we get respect. Show them all that we do things. We should be fair, though. This is a place of justice, after all. Screw justice. Kill her, and they'll all fear us. Bring out the defendant! You certainly know how to keep a girl hanging, Harv. Hey, have you had some work done? That's for stealing from us. No one steals from us. I'm sorry I've been a bad kitty. Untie me, and I'll make it up to you. Let's see if the coin thinks you're telling the truth. This court is now in session. Order in the court. Oh man, Two-Face. Kind of a dick. We should probably go help out Catwoman, because I don't know how long she's going to last down there. What the fuck? Oh, Two-Face has a gun. Taking out the thug with the gun is the key. Without him, the rest of the room won't be a problem. Yep, so be silent and just do a stealth takedown on this guy. And now we're good to go. We're gonna tightrope walk just because it's badass. Nope, nobody's leaving. Are you ready? 
Surprise, bitches! Our friend Batman has arrived. Grab him and cut him in two. I guess a lot of them actually did end up leaving. But that's alright. Okay, excellent. I was curious if we had the combo batarang, and apparently we do. So that is also super useful. That technique I just did right there is a new technique called the beatdown. Really good. One of my favorite additions to this combat system. Basically, you do a cape stun, and then you just throw multiple punches. Overruled. Wow, that was really cheesy. Heads or tails, kitty cat. Which one lets me out of here alive? Not this one. Time to die. I vote for a stay of execution. Yikes. No gun harm? Shame. This is gonna hurt. Two guns, bitch! Gotcha, bitch. And I thought it was cats who have nine lives. Batman sure has a lot of faith in his lines. How's it hanging, Harv? Come to Kitty. Anyone ever tell you that you're full of surprises? I figured you could use my help, Selena. You're right. I think I chipped a nail back there. Funny. <laughs> so what do you need, Mr. Detective? Protocol 10. What do you know, Selena? Never heard of it. That's not what I wanted to hear. What about Strange? I don't trust him. He's been missing for years, and then is suddenly put in charge of running Arkham City. Rumor has it he's been working with Joker, planning something very special just for you. Maybe that's Protocol 10. The ex-district attorney here has said something- <gasps> What the hell?! See you soon, Bats. <laughs> this place is dangerous. I like it. You expecting a kiss? It was Joker. You're not safe here. No one is. Nine lives, remember? Yeah, I don't think that's how it works there, Selena. I need to locate where the bullet entered the court and where it impacted. Okay, so we're gonna do one of our famous crime scene Cut scans. Me down. Fight us like a man! Oh, shut up. But first, we're gonna level up. So there is a more robust level up system in this game. There's a lot of different categories to go through. You can do the bat suit. You can do gadgets, combat or Predator, that doesn't actually have anything available yet. And there's also a separate category for Catwoman's upgrades because you do play as her, I think, four different times throughout the course of this game, which we've already done one. And um, it's kind of, it, you really only need it for like the last one, I think. I don't know, I don't usually waste too many points on that. But anyway, let's see what's available. Right now, the only thing even available is armor and the shockwave attack. And... Okay, there's also a couple here under combat. Critical Strike and Special Combo Bat Swarm. I don't typically use the Bat Swarm very much, but Critical Strikes are pretty good. Let's view it. Yeah, because if you time it correctly, it makes your combo jump way up, which means that you can do more special attacks more frequently. So let's go ahead and grab that. And now we'll get back to our crime scene. All right, we need to scan the place where the bullet hit. Which is right here. The bullet hit the floor here. Now, where did it enter the room? Entered right here. We're gonna use some simple geometry to find out where it came from. The trajectory the bullet traveled will lead me to the shooter. So 
So hopefully you can kind of see how this game is just bigger, better, more badass than the first one. Uh, already we've encountered more characters, uh, more high-tech stuff, we have more options in combat. Just, just a really great game. I'm really excited to uh, get into the meat of this here. Can we talk to Mr. Two-Face? Yeah, we can. Oh, you should have finished me, Batman. We'll get out of this, and we'll be back. Do I look scared, Harvey? You should. Fate is all that stands in our way. And if the coin says that your time is up, then you'll die. I don't give a good fuck what the coin says. We'll kill you for this bad man. Two-Face is actually a pretty tragic character. For those of you who don't know, he was a Gotham District Attorney. Who got horribly disfigured and became a supervillain? April, June, November. All the rest have 31, except for February alone, to which we 28 assign. Hi, calendar man. Leap year, St. Patrick's Day. Let's hope the river continues to run green, hiding the blood beneath the surface. So, that's pretty cool. I didn't actually plan this out, but by coincidence, I am recording this on uh, St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day will be special this year, Batman. And the cool thing about Calendar Man here is that he will give you unique dialogue if you come in and talk to him on holidays. And there's actually an achievement for that. If you talk to him on 12 specific dates throughout the year, you'll unlock an achievement for doing that. And all the dates are actually listed right here on this calendar. has November... April, so, June, and September. a lot of people cheat and just set the date on their Xboxes or computers just to uh, get that achievement more quickly than they would be able to otherwise. Can I? That looks like a wall that you could blow up, but I don't think it actually is. There's an electrical box in there that we would have to hit with a remote control batarang if we could get an electrical charge. But I don't know if we can do that just yet. Um, actually, yeah, we can. Okay, well, first of all, I noticed a Riddler trophy up here. In this game, we can use the back claw to grab trophies that are out of the way. Hello, Dark Knight. Did you find that easy? You were supposed to. That was merely a taste of what is to come. You will regret trying to outsmart me. You will solve my riddles, and you will collect my trophies. You may not want to, but you must. It's a matter of life and death. Right. So there's actually a really good reason to unlock all the Riddler trophies in this game, and that's because there's actually uh, some side quests and gameplay um, involved with it. And a lot of the trophies and riddles and stuff are actually a lot more complicated than they were in the first one. Okay, um, this one... I, uh... Jesus, I need to go in and change these controls, because I'm not used to inverted. Oh my god, I cannot do that. Alright, hold on a second. Where are the inverted control options? Invert flight controls, no. Wait. Those ones, yes. Batarang, no. I think that's the way I want it. Let's try this again. Yeah, there we go. And you can see here, you can auto-level, you can boost, you can slow it down. The remote control Batarang has a lot more options in this game, and it's way easier to use. So get the electric charge, hit the box, and that actually opens up that cell where we can grab another Riddler trophy. And these things are all over the fucking place in this game, and they're all at least a little complicated. They're actually like puzzles to figure out. Kind of like that, where you gotta, like, find the electric charge, and then hit the box, or hit things in a certain order. You'll see more of them as we go along. It, it gets pretty complicated if you want to unlock everything. But, um, eventually the Riddler will actually take hostages, and we'll have to go save them and find more, uh, information about them. It's, it's a lot more in-depth than it was in the first game. I don't think they heard us. Good. I can't believe we're still out here at night. Look, I told you I was sorry. I lost track. Let's hope it doesn't get us killed. 
We just need to be careful. We move when they fight. They'll be too busy killing each other to notice us heading back to the camp. I don't understand why they even want to fight for this place. Two-Face ends up owning that bit of street. So what? He's still stuck in here. Hey, what's up, guys? What the hell? You're the last person I expected to see in here. What did you do? You don't want to know. <laughs> Who are you? Who was I, you mean? In here, you're nothing. Out there, I worked at the company handling security for this place. Yeah, me too. Don't tell me. You were sent here by Strange. Yeah, that evil son of a bitch. What the hell did I do wrong? You obviously know something you shouldn't. Try to figure out what that is and stay out of sight. Yeah, this place is basically a concentration camp. Alright, let's come up to the roof and hang out here because it's a kind of a safe area. So, alright guys, now that we're out of the courthouse, we're about out of time for this video. So, this is right where we'll pick up next time, following the bullet trail. I can see where it's going already. All the way over to that cathedral looking place. And we've got a convenient uh, quest marker there showing us where we need to go. So that's what we'll do in part two. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Dude Long Couch, and you can check me out at GronusGamers.com. See you later, guys.